यू मे बी आस्क अ क्वेश्चन वट इज़ बुक मार्क्स इन पावर बी आई सो बुक मार्क्स इन पावर बी आई सेव्स अ स्टेट ऑफ अ रिपोर्ट विद पावर बी आई बुक मार्क्स यू कैन कीप ट्रैक ऑफ द करंट स्टेट ऑफ द रिपोर्ट विजुअल फिल्टर्स एंड अदर सेटिंग्स बाई कैप्चरिंग द स्टेट ऑफ द बुक मार्क यू कैन सेव दीज स्टेट्स फॉर लेटर यूज और इंट्रैक्शन बुक मार्क सर्व एज ए स्नैप शॉट ऑफ योर रिपोर्ट ले आउट एंड कॉन्फिग्रेशन एट अ स्पेसिफिक पॉइंट इन टाइम दिस फीचर इज पर्टिकुलरली यूजफुल फॉर क्रिएटिंग इंट्रैक्टिव एंड डायनेमिक रिपोर्ट्स सो देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ बुक मार्क्स पर्सनल एंड रिपोर्ट रिपोर्ट बुक मार्क्स इज समथिंग विच वी क्रिएट ऑन पावर बी डेस्क टॉप यू क्रिएट द बुक मार्क्स इट रिकॉर्ड्स द फॉलोइंग इन्फॉर्मेशन द विजिबिलिटी द विजुअल स्टेट द विजिबिलिटी ऑफ द विजुअल filter any filter applied on the visuals slicer so selections made on the slicer filtering control sort order and cross filtering and highlight these are the things which it captures bookmarks are powerful tool to improve the report usability they can be used to create interactive reports that allow users to explore data in different way you can utilize bookmarks to create interactive experience in the reporting consumer button navigation you can associate bookmarks with the button and other interactive well, allowing users to switch between the different views of state of a report i'll give you one example was the bookmarks so what we supposed to do in that is basically i'll just quickly take one example i'll create a visual brand and with the brand let me take net let me make it as a clustered column bar control c control v i'll just keep a little bit of difference here so that you can understand these are two different visuals and then i'll bring in category here i'll remove the brand so now these are two visuals then we used to go to views and we say selection now here i'll hide one of them and this stage i can say this is my a new bookmark so i go to the bookmark menu and i'll say add a bookmark let's say i'll call it let it be bookmark 4 okay then i hide this and i Vis make it visible, and I'll add another bookmark. Let's call it bookmark five. Fine. So bookmark four and bookmark five I've created. If I click here, you can see bookmark four or bookmark five. So let me add the buttons to control this. So I can go to button and I can add the blank button. Let me bring it little bit down. Let me make it little bit bigger. So now I need to do two things. First of all, in the style, on the pro format properties, I can switch on the text and write down. Let me call it as brand. and then i can go to the action and inside the action i can say it is a bookmark and inside the bookmark i can say bookmark 4 now i can duplicate this button and now i can rename this under the style text as category and then i can go to the action and i can change my action from bookmark 4 to bookmark 5 So now I got the two buttons and I can switch using those. So what I can do is control click in the desktop we do control click. So if I do control click on brand it is showing me brand. If I say control click on category it shows me category. But if you go to Power BI service there you can simply click on the buttons you don't need a control click. So in this manner we you create the access slicer uh, using the bookmarks and button So let's continue what else bookmarks can do so bookmarks can do the storytelling bookmark can guide the users through a narrative by showing specific view of the data in sequence so we can create the sequence of you know this is how it has happened this is how it has happened then create the buttons and we can travel through that story another thing is comparison bookmarks enable user to compare different visualization or combination with a single click so what we can do okay this is how my data was looking in let's say with this combination of data and this is how it is looking with this combination of data so we can create the bookmarks so in this manner bookmarks can help us in creating interactive reporting experience so these are the things you can answer for this particular question